I have so many tabs open. But I should be good to go. So, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, we were not able to beat Rhapsody previous stream. However, uh, the Switch, being the Switch, undocked itself. And um, what I did is, okay, let me grind just a little bit of uh, my spawn. And, um, and funny enough, it was like, like I think it was like three more battles after the stream ended and his thing popped. So what I did is I saved in between each one. So, we're going to immediately load this up, and we're going to just immediately do, like, start his thing. And then after that, we're doing the ending, and then after the ending, we will be moving on to Resident Evil Month proper. And, uh, we will be going more into that when Resident Evil starts, but, um, for now, Rhapsody. So, let us try to do the deed. But yeah, we were we were barely close before the power went out a second time. But everything's good now. Um, I survived a lot of lot of debris everywhere in the yards and whatnot. We might just actually use an ice bomb for the final boss too. I mean, he's already beat up. <laughs> Check this background out. Holy cow. I don't think you've ever seen this anywhere else. Oh, so this guy, this, he, he, he doesn't go based off whatever level he was at with you. He, he's pretty easy. <laughs> It's just like that. This can't be true. D yeah. Okay. Very bizarre. Alright, so that's taken care of. So, to anybody who's playing this game and wants to 100% it, as soon as you get Nice Bond, put them in your party. Alright. Do this. Like, it's literally right here. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, we're we're pretty pretty decent here. Just like that. My true power. Oh, you shall die. Oh, 
she's level 60. I think if you actually leave here and come back, like, Marjorie's, like, standing up. Yeah, that's what Harwis fails. Did I just say what level this guy was, actually? Nah, it doesn't matter. Right now, the true only battle here. Very dramatic. We, we should be pretty sad.
heal all of them. Just, just to make sure. Pretty I never beat you, sir. Well, I mean, we pretty much got it in the bag here. So I do have, like, one headphone on and the other one off because it is the first in the month. And usually my landlord is around before I start streaming, but he's not. I don't know if it's because of the storm. He's going to wait a day. I don't know. I don't know. So there might be a point where I have to just hop off the stream for a little bit. Hopefully not for too long. Oh, I think I just slid. many things that I regret. Normally I don't hear it, but I'm a heavy phone on. She's in a deep sleep over here on the food zone, that's for sure. Even, uh, some of the witches are here, too. See, I'm pretty sure this immediately happens. I don't think any time passes between this, this and there. You 
how to kick some butt. Thank you, thank you, guy. And that promise holds true, actually. Oh, they actually credit Atlas USA. Interesting. Ah, uh, well, that didn't take very long, about 20 minutes or so. But, uh, yeah, that's Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Uh, I cannot believe the playthrough was, like, five years ago. That's nutty. It's just time passes so I so quickly. Sometimes it feels like it's a, it's a, you know, it can drag on. And sometimes it just blink and you missed it. Thank you from my heart, you filled my life. It's very bizarre. I, I enjoy this game, and I'm, I'm glad that this would lead on to Disgaea and in turn Phantom Brave and whatnot. I'm glad NIS was able to find her footing and uh, you know, continue to make some uh, pretty excellent games. Will we ever see another Meryl Kingdom game? But I'm, I mentioned it multiple times. I, I legitimately hope that we get, um, we like, a Volume 4 Penny Collection, tears. and we get and both Little Princess and Angel's Present. I think that would be really now, nice. We but you never know. You never know. They might stop at 3. Thank you, my love. Thank you all. Very squeaky chair. i got to get a new chair. But yeah, um, thank you, my dear. Nice, nice. It's so hard just to say goodbye, but I will do it with a tear and a smile. Thank you. I don't know why that made me think. There's a YouTube video about, uh, like, I think it's like a video essay kind of thing where it goes into depth about why you feel empty after beating the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and watch that actually. I don't. It's I, I I get that feeling from time to time still, um, but I think it's a game that I have to be like really associated with, like like really Thank into. You, my love. Like holy cow! I think the Thank first time I ever really felt heart, that way was my life uh, with was FF Seven really? Because I'm thinking back when I beat Mystic Quest for the you first time. The I don't know, maybe it was Mr. Quest. It's hard to say. It's like 20 plus years at that point. But yeah, this was this was definitely a spur of the moment. I'm like, yeah, I kind of wanted this. And, you know, unfortunately, Bug Fables had to be pushed to the side. 
for for quite a bit now, and um, we, we will be getting back to it. Don't you don't you worry. But, um, um, but in terms of the Meryl Kingdom games, I'm gonna wait and see if we ever do get an announcement about Ain um, Little Princess and Angry Present comes out at any point. If not, then we the next time we'll be. We look at the Meryl Kingdom games, we'll be Angel Present. I want to do it to Angel Present before we jump into like the Zero Ragnarok. But when we do get the late Priscilla Ragnarok, you, you will really really see, oh, this is. Because that was literally the game before this guy. But Angel Present. You really do see it in Angel Present as well. And Angel Princess has a interesting, interesting setup and whatnot. But um, def, I, def, for sure, I would think this is probably one of the weaker of the Meryl Kingdom games. Uh, this, I mean, it, it is the first, and it, it it's kind of easy to say, oh, the first one in the series it kind of tends to be the weakest one. It's not terrible by any means. It's a very easy. Like we beat this game on hard. The most difficult part was just grinding levels. Learned, you have as shown in the previous time, session where it took over two hours to even get close to Night Spawn's quest. Um, Thank you, my love. Was a little disappointed Thank with this port that it wasn't based off the DS version. I was kind of hoping like we would have like a better version, a DS version, like with the music again. fixes and whatnot. But I'm guessing it was probably easier. And, and, and from what it looks like, the DS version has a different translation than this version. This is like straight. This is straight up based on the Apple version. Um, I would definitely like to check out the P uh, DS version later down in the road. Don't know when, but it's definitely on the radar. If not on stream, I, I definitely want to play it. I have a physical copy. But let's just say that if they do Little Princess and Angel's Present, I know that's going to take a while before they probably even announce it. Because uh, that's that's two games right there that's never, not even fan translated. At, at least with Ragnarok, they had the basis of the original PS2 version. And there is a fan translation of Ragnarok, just not the DLC. And I, I don't know if, like, they took cues from Thank that fan train to us. Thank you, Guru. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for playing. It's always nice when they thank the player at the end of these credits. This is a uh, cornet and the prince. Just because. This is actually a game over screen, too, if I'm not mistaken. Or something similar to this. But yeah, uh, that is Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Um, again, I would like to do the DS version at this point because it's di it's it's different enough that I would definitely want to check out. But in terms of this particular version of Rhapsody, I am honestly probably comfortable with just... Nah, i say that. I was about to say probably not playing it ever again. But uh, I don't know. Be, it might be fun to try to speedrun this game. And just like that, we're taking to the title screen.
But yeah, uh, Rhapsody, Musical Adventure. Uh, it's always nice to see NIS's roots, and I did mention, like, how this guy kind of got it started from here. Really, and honestly, if, I think Cook and Fighter How is really where it really began, where they started to get their footing to what would lead to this guy because of uh, Cook and Fighter How's... Uh, of uh, Cook and Fighter How's humor and whatnot. It's it's very Disgaea like. But um uh, yeah. That will be it for this game. And um just in case nobody wants to stick around for Resident Evil 5, which is the next game here. Um thank you for watching uh the Rhapsody playthrough. It was it was it was rather nice coming back to this because Rhapsody was such an early playthrough when I started doing playthroughs on YouTube before switching over to just streaming. And um, I like to think I improved, maybe just a little bit. But um, yeah. Thanks again, everybody. Check it out for the playthrough, and um, yeah, I will end it there with this for that video, and then we will go get Resident Evil Five.